How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set your lash when running a solid roller lifter. The test mule engine that we're going to be working on today is one of our Smetting 363 cubic inch small block Fords. This is an 8.2 deck engine, so it's you know an exact replacement for a 302 based motor but it's a 363. So it's got a bigger bore, 3.4 stroke. It's a nice combo. This customer wants an 8,000 RPM package. We actually featured um, an engine for the same customer previously on the channel. And he liked it so much he ordered an exact replica motor. And so we're super happy about that. But today I want to show you all how to set lash on a solid roller system because last week, in last week's video, we did a hydraulic roller system which had preload. So here's the other side of it. This is a solid roller system that's going to have lash. So we're running a Jessel shaft mount rocker system and I'm going to show you guys on cylinder number one on this Ford how to set them up. So shaft mount rockers like what we're using today are usually together on a solid rod and that rod bolts to a shaft that runs along the entire cylinder head. This ties all of the rocker arms together and gives us a super strong sturdy foundation. Because these rockers are on a bar together, this tool steel bar, both of the um, lifters for this cylinder need to be on their fully closed position. As you can see right now, my exhaust push rod is sticking up a little bit. And if I go to set this rocker on the arm, on the cylinder head, we have a problem over here. It's not sitting completely flush with the head. If you try to torque this down right now, you run a very high risk of cracking or damaging this shaft this rod that connects the rocker arms. So first we need to roll the engine over and make sure that the lifters are on the base circle of the camshaft. So the exhaust is rising, now it's closing, but now here comes my intake. So I'm gonna rotate it all the way over until my rod fits against the shaft totally flush. Now we can come here and tighten down all three of these Torx drive fasteners and torque the rocker arms to the cylinder head first. And I am using some CMD thread lubricant on these bolts. The rocker arms should have lash in them right now when you, if you torque them correctly. We don't want to torque them with any preload against the valve springs because it could damage that rod. So now everything, these three bolts are torqued and we can now start setting our lash on these rockers. Just like on a hydraulic roller system, we need to use the ice method to position the rocker arm in the correct orientation so that lash can be set on the base circle of the camshaft. So, it's ICE, I-C-E. When the intake is closing, set your exhaust. And then we're gonna flip it. When the exhaust opens, set your intake. So I'm gonna start roll rolling the engine over and we're gonna watch our exhaust rocker and it just started to open. So now we can set our intake rocker. Whenever you're running a solid roller camshaft, it will always tell you where the valves should be adjusted. So we have our valve adjustment and it's calling for 20 thou on the intake and 20 thou on the exhaust. Now this is a hot lash setting, meaning the engine is at operating temperature and all the thermal expansion has happened in the engine. Obviously we're building this motor for the first time, so we cannot set a hot lash. So I have found that six to eight thousandths of cold lash in the assembly room usually puts us right on the money when we go onto the dyno. So I'm gonna set both of these valves to six thousandths of lash. So right now we're working on our intake and I'm gonna take a feeler gauge, a six thou feeler gauge, and I'm gonna stick it under, in between the rocker roller and the valve tip and we're gonna run our Allen key down until we feel a little bit of resistance. I can still move it in and out but it's just touching right there. So I'm actually going to back it off a little bit and we'll try this setting first. Now I'm going to hold my T-handle totally straight and then lock it with this adjuster nut. Come back and that's perfect. We should have a tiny bit of resistance. It shouldn't be able to hold itself in but it also shouldn't be loose. 
and that's about six thousandths. So that intake rocker is set. Now we need to set our exhaust. So using the ice method, when the intake closes, we're gonna set exhaust. So let's roll this engine over. Intake is now opened and it's starting to close right there. Now we can come to our exhaust and we're gonna do the same thing. It's really this simple. So let's run this down. Okay, there's some resistance. I'm gonna back it off just a little bit, run my nut down tight with my finger and then snug it all up with my wrench. So I went a little bit too far. Actually, no, that's right on the money. That's a little bit tight. Um, but it's probably six, six and a half to seven thousandths between the two of them. We're just trying to get an accurate target of six to eight, give or take. And then when we get on the dyno, we'll fully warm this engine up and then we'll reset the valves at exactly what the cam card requests. And there you go, guys. That is how you install a Jessel rocker arm and set your lash on a solid roller engine. This engine has Jessels. It's the same process for TND, or maybe you're doing just a stud mount solid roller system where you have the adjusting nut on a stud. It would be the same process. So I've already done the other seven cylinders, the other 14 rocker arms. These are the last two I had to do on this motor. And it is now ready to head to the dyno. Obviously we got to put on the covers and an intake, but you get the picture, it's ready to rock. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next week.